Hi, good afternoon. My name is Professor Gautin Sirzu Kolot, and uh, I'm here today to talk about cell membrane covered hybrid nanocomposites for phototermal cancer therapy. I am currently a full professor at the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil. Well, in the last few years, our research group has developed different nanomaterials for application <clears throat> in photohypertermia against cancer. That includes uh, the gold nanorods, about which I'm talking here today, but we also develop different nanosystems, including the graphene oxide and the, what we call the golden nanoflowers. Uh, <clears throat> it's important to note that all these nanomaterials are teranostic nanomaterials, which means that they are able to, <clears throat> to perform uh, both diagnosis and therapy at the same time. Okay? So, Let's, let's talk about the use of nanorods for the combined chemo and thermal therapy against cancer. Initially, we synthesized the gold nanorods using the well-known synthetic route, route based on CTAB, as you can see here, uh, <clears throat> depending on the aspect rate, you know, ratio of the nanoparticles of the nanorods, you can tune the electronic absorption in the <clears throat> infrared region. The nanorods produced in our lab uh, were very homogeneous in size and in shape. And uh, we also show uh, here a typical heating and cooling curve uh, exhibited from the nanorods upon radiation with a laser line in the infrared region. Right? Okay. <clears throat> After producing the nanorods, uh, the natural question that came up was uh, how to efficiently deliver the nanorods to the cancer cells. Obviously, we could simply inject the nanorods in the animal models or incubate the nanorods in the cell cultures, but we decided to use uh, a very special type of nanocarriers to, to, to deliver the nanorods to the, to the cancer sites. We use the cell membrane nanocapsules, right? And uh, to produce these cell membrane nanocapsules, we first cultivate the cells. In this case, all the nanocapsules were produced using the A549 lung uh, tumor cell. After cultivating the cells, we can extract the cell membrane, and then we uh, co-extrude the cell membrane is with the nanorods, allowing the fabrication of these so-called uh, cell membrane nanocapsules. Inside, uh, and inside them, we can <clears throat> incorporate the nanorods. But as I said in the previous slide, uh, in this case, we combined the thermal, uh, phototermal therapy from the nanorods with the chemotherapy, and the chemo therapy came, uh, came from uh, the chemotherapy beta lapachone. So beta lapachone is a very important chemotherapeutic, uh, which is, is very efficient uh, for cancer cell death. Uh, they can become toxic to, to the cells only inside the cancer cells, so minimizing a lot the, <clears throat> the, the side effects. But the problem with beta lapachone is that they are, uh, this molecule is, is really insoluble. So using this strategy, we solve the, 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 the problem with, with the, the insolubility of the beta lapachone because in this case, the molecules were incorporated into the hydrophobic part of the cell membrane of the nanocapsules, right? So using this strategy to manipulate the cell membranes and the golden nanorods, we ob obtain nanocapsules like this, uh, we can observe in this image, in this TEM Im image, the, uh, <clears throat> the nanocapsule produced with the A549 tumor cell membrane, and inside in this image we can observe the presence of two nanorods. Obviously, the system is optimized to produce nanocapsules like this, in which uh, you know, much more nanorods can be incorporated, can be incorporated into the, into the nanocapsules, okay? So, these nanocapsules can be used to, to deliver the nanorods to the, to the tumor sites. Uh, as we can see here, 
upon irradiation, uh, for instance, after 10 minutes of irradiation using a laser line in, in the uh, <clears throat> 808 nanometer uh, of wavelength, uh, we observed that after 10 minutes, the nanoparticles, the nanocapsules, started to destabilize, releasing all the nanorods inside the cells within 20 minutes, right? So, again, we show a typical uh, heating curve uh, now using the, the nanocapsules. We can observe that uh, in a few in, in few minutes we can <clears throat> increase the, uh, the, uh, the temperature of the nanocapsules by uh, 10 or 20 uh, degrees Celsius, which is, is enough for, for the uh, <clears throat> hyperthermia. Okay, uh, we then proceed with the in vitro tests and uh, initially uh, without radiation, we checked about the cytotoxicity of the nanocapsules uh, using the cancer cell line and the normal cell line, HIPAA-RG, which is a normal cell line from the liver. And uh, as we can observe, uh, in terms of uh, reactive oxygen species generation, the nanocapsules um, are not toxic. But obviously, uh, upon radiation, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the <clears throat> in the cell cultures. After 10 minutes, we can observe that the combination of the laser radiation and the nanorods from the, nano, the, the, the cell membrane nanocapsules, they promoted uh, a higher amount of cell death, as you can observe in this, in this, in this image. Okay? Well, we also perform in vivo uh, experiments in collaboration with uh, <clears throat> Uh, another professor from the University of Campinas, Professor uh, Wagner Favaro. And as we can see, <clears throat> in this case, uh, <clears throat> specific tumors uh, were induced in the animal models. And uh, after uh, the period of induction of the tumors in the, animal, in the animals, uh, a dispersion of the nanorods inside the, nan the cell membrane nanocapsules uh, <clears throat> was injected uh, as a single dose uh, intravesically, right? Uh, in the animals, in the animals for the tests. Okay. Uh, after the administration, uh, after administering the, the the nanocapsules inside the, uh, to the animals, the animals, the the, the tumor site of the animals uh, was irradiated for five minutes with the laser line in the infrared region. As we can observe here, uh, for those animals treated with the nanorods inside the cell membrane nanocapsules and the bone radiation, we observed uh, a better histopathological recovery from the cancer tissues, from the cancer state. Okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> uh, concluding, we have developed uh, a specific uh, targeting system based upon the use of cell membrane nanocapsules uh, incorporating gold nanorods and beta lapachone for a combined chemo and uh, phototherapy against cancer cells. Right? I'd like to highlight <clears throat> very quickly uh, another uh, piece of work from our group in which, uh, in which we, we used, again, uh, specific cancer cell membranes to deliver two specific chemotherapies, gemcitabina and the paclitax cell to pancreatic cancer cells, right? <clears throat> so, uh, with this, I conclude. This is part of my research group. Uh, to whom I have to, to say thank you because all these guys uh, perform the hard, the hard work every day. I also would like to thank the, our funding agencies, uh, CNPQ, CAPS, and FAPESP. Thank you very much.